Christina, Warthog Princess, and we are up close and personal today because Pandora Charms came in and I have 10 new charms to share with you today. I know, I broke that little off switch, so it is off again, but they are having a sale that ends today. Buy two, get one free, so I might have to fill a couple of more. I don't know, but if only I could afford it. Anyway, um, so the first one I got is called the Sparkling Paw Print and heart charm. It is this adorable little heart with a paw print. I know that the it's a little bit blurryish, and it's an open heart. And on the bottom, it has a little dangle. And I know you probably can't read that, but on one side it says "Fur Mom," and on the other side it has a heart. So that is going straight onto my dog bracelet. Quick glance at it right here all the doggy stuff on it so there are a few other dog charms that are new but I, I like I said I was trying to be at least a little bit frugal <laughs> for what that's worth we'll just put this right on to there put that safety chain back on and there we go it's nicely right in with the rest of the dog charms. So, put that aside. The next ones that I got, I got several from Disney. The first is Mary Poppins. Now, it's one of my all-time favorite Disney movies. And I used to babysit a kid when I was in like eighth grade. And he would watch this over and over and over every single time I babysat for him. Which was fine by me. But boy, I know every word to every song. And I know you can't see that very well because the footage, but it's Mary Poppins with her little umbrella and it just repeats on the other side. The little silver flowers in between, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, I got that one and um, in pairing, as I do, I also happen to love Olaf. I think he's the cutest. So there's this little Olaf and it says, like warm hugs, but it's just Olaf on an enamel, and there he is, like melted. Let's see if I can show you a bit of his face. Anyways, he's hard to see, but not hard in real, real life. So those two match really well, and they're going right onto the Disney bracelet. I've already set them up here, and I will put them on as soon as we're done with this video. The next one I got is not uh, not Disney, but it's Disney-esque, if you will. It's Harry Potter, and the name of it actually, where is it? It's Harry Potter Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry Charm. And on the one side, it has the crest from the school. I know that the lighting is really good. Um, and then on the other side, it actually is like the school with a scene. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a three-dimensional open charm in a round shape, like a hockey puck shape. And then around the outside, it has these open like stars and dots. It's really kind of cool. So I got that one, and I'm debating whether I put that on my travel charm bracelet or on my Disney bracelet, even though it's not Disney. For now, it's going to go on the Disney bracelet, um, and we will look at that another time, shortly, now that everything's filled in. And then, if you remember, I have my, my second of the original bracelets, and there's still quite a bit of open space, which is what spurred me to go ahead and buy a few charms. A few turned into ten, but okay. Um, so the ones that I got to add to that, we'll start with this one, and this is called Camper Van Charm. It's a little like a Volkswagen van, and it has a little pink heart on the front. I know you probably can't see that very well. I'm trying to get some different light angles for you. But look at it, it's just a little, it's just a little band. And the reason I got this is specifically to my dad. Um, we used to have a little VW van, and it was red on the bottom and white on the top, and we used to go all, that was, we road tripped the heck out of the country like that. And it says love and peace on the top. There you go. Anyway, so that one is my, my dad charm. I have the dream catcher for my mom specifically. And I had some other ones that touch on my dad, but that's what their one is for. And then I got this one, and this one is Disney, I know. It's Disney's Little Mermaid flounder charm. And he has blingy eyes. 
a very, very like basic bling. You can't see the bling very well. But he has an articulated tail. So it little little tail wags, which is super cute. There you go. Um, but he has these blue, blue and teal enamel on the side that gives him his color. But he's just a cute little flounder. And I got this not for the Disney bracelet. I got this because after I retired, I started up with a group called Project Healing Waters and they do fly fishing for disabled veterans. And I've just been loving the heck out of it and seeing some of my fellow veterans really thrive in that environment, being able to be safe and together and out in the open and doing something very peaceful and fun and anyways. So that's for fly fishing and so it's gonna go on the big bracelet. The next one I got is is uh well what's the name of this it's so cute it's free hugs cactus charm it is an adorable little cactus and it has a blossom on the top which actually has some like pink enamel in there but it's so tiny you can barely see it but look at this little charm it's so cute the little cactus with his open arms can't see that very well and the bucket that is in says free hugs well, not really helping but has a little happy face on the cactus it's just super cute I got this because of a lot of reasons actually sentimental old me the first one is well yeah I live in Tucson so it totally makes sense and I've lived here many times but this is where I ended up retiring to so that's cool but oops um, but if you think about it, it's a happy cactus offering his love to the world, but it's all prickly on the outside and just a heart full of gold on the inside. So I think we can all see someone we know that maybe resembles that. Maybe it's yourself. Um, but anyway, a lot of meaning to this one for me and super cute. So you got that one. And then the next one I got is actually the most expensive charm of all of these. And it's just a Texas flag charm in a heart, Texas heart. It has bling around the part up here on the charm part. And on the back, it just says Texas. It's fairly simple, um, but with the enamel and the bling, I think is why it costs more. Why did I get Texas? I'm from California, I live in Arizona. Well, my Air Force career began at the Air Force Academy, but my first, um, my first training, you know, pilot training, my career began and ended in Texas. So sort of bookended my entire career, which is what this whole retirement bracelet was about. So I specifically commemorated it that way. I know it's a little late, but I don't care. Uh, this next one um, actually is kind of like two charms for the price of one, sort of, and ironically cheaper than the Texas one. This one's called the Christmas Train. And it does indeed have a couple of Christmas package in the back car there, but I did not get this for anything to do with Christmas. That's just coincidental and that's fine. But it's this little articulated train piece. It's super cute. I got this to remind me, it's actually Canada. I thought that's so funny. I have my own way of thinking. Um, but when I went on my Alaska cruise in 2016, we went up um, and took a, a train that went all back into the US. It went all the way up into the border. We actually had to cross the Canadian border up in the Yukon and then drove the train back down. So that is what this little train is going to be commemorating. In addition, it also reminds me of other trains that I've been on anywhere in the world in my life and there are a lot of them. Um, so there you go. A lot of little mining towns and whatnot too. And then the last charm I got and this is no surprise to my Vera fans that, yeah, I have a bit of a Vera problem. So this is commemorating that. Specifically, the first time I ever went to the Vera Bradley annual outlet sale in Fort Wayne was in 2008. And look what I found. I found this cute little pink backpack charm. And on it, it says 2018. So it's a fairly simple charm. It's just a dangle in a circle. And so... Even though I already had the little Pandora purse on my other other charm bracelet, the one of interest. Y'all haven't seen that one yet, but that one specifically to me was Fear Bradley. And that sale, that first time, and that was a big, big splurge on my part. So anyway, 
that is all the charms for today. Um, what I'll do is I'll put these onto the bracelets that they're designed for, and then we'll continue to review each individual bracelet as they come. And hopefully that will all make sense. And you will see these charms again when we do the bracelets. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.